You may have heard the term delta used in reference to stock and options trading, but what is delta? Physics, geometry, calculus. You'll see this little symbol everywhere, and it always means the same thing. Delta means change. In options trading, delta tells you how fast the price of an option changes relative to the stock that it's based upon. Stocks don't really have a delta, but if they did, it would be one, because if the price of a stock changes by one, then the price of a stock changes by one, because the stock is the stock. Options are a little bit different though. With options, they always react a little bit more slowly than the stock itself, and your delta will always be less than one. Let's say, for example, that the delta of an option is 0 0.8. That means that if the stock changes by a dollar, you can expect the price of the option to change by about 80 cents. So you can kind of think about this in terms of a percentage. If the stock changes by $2, then 80% of $2 would be $1.60, and the option would change by about $1.60. If the stock changes by $0.50, cents, then 80% of $0.50 cents would be about $0.40, cents, and the option would change by about $0.40. Cents. But delta isn't exactly fixed. It'll change as time passes and the trade evolves. That's because the relationship between the price of an option and the price of a stock isn't exactly a straight line. For an in-the-money option, it tends to have a higher delta and will behave more like a stock, whereas an out-of-the-money option tends to have a lower delta and it'll lag behind more. And this makes sense if you think about it, because the further out of the money the option is, the less certainty you have. Whereas when you're getting close to the expiration date and the option's in the money, there's more certainty. And more certainty generally means it behaves more like a stock. However, the delta isn't enough to really give you a solid picture of exactly how much money you're making. Just because you have a higher delta doesn't necessarily mean you're making more money when the price goes up, because you have to consider the price of the option itself. For an out-of-the-money option, the price is much lower, and so even though the delta might also be lower, a change of a small amount on the option might be a larger percent gain. And this is pretty typical, actually. For an out-of-the-money option, a dollar increase in the stock tends to be a bigger percent change than for an option that's in the money. So it's important to consider not only the delta, but also the price of the option itself in order to determine how well your trade is doing. But delta will never reach one unless you own the stock itself, and it never really reaches zero until you sell it or it expires. Knowing how to manage your delta will help you mitigate your risk. By raising your delta when the market's moving in your favor and lowering it when it's not moving in your favor, you can win more when you're right and lose less when you're wrong. This is something poker players already understand. You don't win at poker by taking more hands than your opponent. You win at poker by betting more when you have good cards, betting less when your cards are not so good, and knowing when to fold entirely. But even if the stock price never changes at all, your delta on your option is still going to change, because time itself affects every option. That's where theta comes in. 